Hi guys, welcome back to my channel or welcome if you're new. Today I'm going to take you along to build an IKEA bed that we got not for our bedroom but for my son's bedroom. If you're new around here, I have a son and he's going to be four soon and he's still in his cot. Um, now it's quite a long cot so it's a larger one so I feel like, you know, he was fine and I think he still is but he's getting a bit big and I feel like it might be a bit more comfortable for him to be have a bigger bed and then also sometimes we go to sleep in with him or he comes into our bed um, and I just feel like having an extra bed in his bedroom will be so so handy for us um, just kind of for our dynamic and yes yeah, so then when I want to sleep in with him um, or just you know he needs me in the morning I can just lay in bed with him so the slotum bed I think it's called um, I, I will link it in the description box for anyone who's interested but um, it's I think similar or the same size as this one I believe it's a double bed um, and this one is also an Ikea one I can't remember the name of it but maybe I'll write it on the screen in case you guys are interested um, but yeah I'm going to go ahead and assemble his bed in his room now I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do this on my own I think I might need to get my husband on his lunch break to help me uh, because I think there might be some larger pieces that I might need someone to hold but yeah, I think for some parts you do need two people to do it so I'm just going to give it a try see how far I can get on my own and now that I think about it I need to go find all the tools that I need as well which I have no idea where they are so I'm probably going to spend the next hour <laughs> looking for those just kidding um but yeah i'm really excited to show you um the new ikea bed that we got and just kind of the makeover of his room um and yeah let's go ahead and have a look okay so i'm in his room now so i'm just going to kind of show you around and show you what we have planned for the room so here's the bed it's just arrived earlier this morning so um this is going to be the frame i think the headboard um and this is the name of it so it's the slotum bed yeah i think it's going to be a really good fit in here hopefully that's the mattress on the floor and then I've also got a um, mattress protector sheet and then I also got um, just some regular fitted sheets for the mattress and I also have a bedspread like a duvet, a duvet cover and pillow and everything like that but that's arriving in a separate um, parcel I think in the next couple of days so I'll actually film those clips then and include those in the video but yeah so this is the bed and then this is the layout of my son's room so um, obviously he's got just a couple of things here in the corner and then this is his cot so what we're thinking is obviously taking the cot out and then taking this out and then putting the bed here because I think that's a good space for it um, and then I'm not sure how we're going to switch the wardrobes around we're just gonna play around with it for a bit probably and see see how we like it um, or maybe we can put the bed here but I think that would be a better place for it because that that's where the door is so then if I put the bed here it might just be a bit you know <laughs> in the doorway so I think the bed here would be probably best um let me know what you guys think but I'm just going to go take things out of the box and see see what we can do did you pack the flashlight the blanket and the mat it's a real adventure, the trail you're looking at I'm glad you came for a while, I thought you might be bailing Is that the same yellow shirt you used to wear? But a thousand years seem like almost no time now This guitar right here, do you still remember how? I played for you, I was crappy, but you sang along and Okay, so the cot is down and look at what was behind it. <laughs> oh, a bit gross. Okay, I'm going to go and clean that up. Useless words. What you said, what I said, that might have made it worse. We're here again at the same spot where we kissed the first time. I swear my pain is far away, long gone by now. We've got a bottle of tent. It's my third.
5.30 a.m. Let's be the kids who left Get in trouble again That star's got nothing on Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart I have just finished putting together his pad and everything so I'm really excited to show you what it looks like like the final picture and I'm also going to give you kind of a bit of a tour of his room um, and just kind of where everything is from because I know a lot of people have questions on um, things like these so let's go ahead and see the final room Like the day before You're like a stone on my pillow I don't make a sound when I shut the door Okay, so here is the pad. I really love the way it looks. Um, I think maybe in the future I will get some of those um, drawers or baskets to put under there just to have extra storage because there's quite a lot of space under it. But I feel like we're pretty good with storage so far. I really like the gray color. I like kind of the headboard. It's kind of padded a bit. So it's nice obviously because I don't want him to bonk his head on the headboard. Um, and yeah, I just got this duvet set and cover as well. Um, these are also from Ikea. Um, I really love this duvet set. I think it's such a cute one. The um, blanket that we have there is also from Ikea. That's usually what I uh, use when I sleep with him in this bed um, because I have slept with him here for the past couple of days um, since we got the bed and it's so much nicer. Like some of you may know that we used to have that little mattress that we would sleep on the floor with him and it's not all night. It's just kind of like around 4 or 5 a.m. is when he would usually kind of come into our bed or ask us to come into his uh, bedroom 
Um, so we would either sleep on the floor with him or we would have him in our bed, which is not ideal because if you've ever slept with a toddler in between the two of you, like the two parents, it's just... It's not a comfortable situation for anyone involved. So now it's nice because one of us can come into his bed here um, and then the other one can stay obviously in the um, master bedroom. And it's really nice because it's just more comfortable. Everybody gets better quality sleeps. I feel like this is the ideal situation for us um, in this stage that we're in. Um, but yeah, I really love the bed. And it's also not that expensive. I will link it below. I will actually try to link most of the things in here um, as much as I can. Um, so the pom-pom garland that we have up there is from H&M Home. Really cute one. I really love the way it looks. And we've just kind of propped it up with some command hooks. So we didn't have to drill um, into the walls or anything. And then that basket right there is um, obviously matching the pom-poms on the wall. And the basket is also from H&M Home. Then we've got... Um, this basket is from TK Maxx that we got a while ago and then this is just a cushion that we have I think this one was from George at Asda and then I got this It's one of those money boxes so you can put obviously coins in there if you want to um, Save money for something. He doesn't have anything in there yet um, But so cute. They sent this to me. Um, it was a PR gift um, But how adorable is this? It's from Funky Laser um, and I will link their website down below. They have such cute, um, like, personalized items like this. And I think they've got lots of um, wedding bits as well. So cute. If I were to have my wedding now, I would definitely use their products. Um, but yeah, that's where we got that from. This is a little plant from Ikea. And the same with the basket. This basket was from Wilco, actually. So it's just got a few toys in there. Um, this frame was from a good friend of mine. I will link her shop down below as well it was also a gift from her she does these watercolor paintings they are so cute so i love having things from small businesses like this um and then these are from my friend kingo who does these peg dolls as well i will link her um shop below as well but so cute she does so many different styles of peg dolls and then this funny story my mom actually sent me this from uh, back in Romania. This, my uh, grandparents live, or they used to live in the mountains. If you guys are from Romania, they lived in the Apuseni mountains. It's just a really lovely place in Transylvania and their house used to look, I mean, not exactly like this, but quite similar. And, and they used to have these little houses in their home, uh, back in their house in the mountains. And I used to play with these when I was little. So they sent me one um, recently and I just, I love it so much because it's just such a fun memory to have here. So I just put it in Victor's room. And then over here on the wall, we finally got a frame for this print, which you might have seen in a previous video. The frame is also from Ikea. It's um, a really thin one, which I really like. And then the print, like the actual dinosaur print inside it is from H&M Home as well. Oh, and these drawers right here are also Ikea. Um, we used to have the mom drawers in our previous flat where we used to live in Romania. Um, but we got these ones because they're just slightly small. It's like a smaller set of drawers. And this one is called the Colin one. So it's very similar to the mom um, dresser. It's just a bit smaller, which fits a bit better in here and in the flat that we used to live in before in London. And then over here, we've got his little like um, shelving unit. This one was a super cheap one. It was from Wilco actually. And it's just obviously houses his uh, books. And then we've got a few knickknacks up there. Um, the pom-pom garland, which I just showed you. And then we've got his wardrobe, like the big wardrobe, which, um, which I actually have no idea where it's from because it was here when we moved in. But it's a very basic one. So I'm pretty sure you can find it in places like Ikea or Homebase or anything like that. So it's just a simple wardrobe. And then on top of it, we've got two baskets that I got from Homebase. They're just really cute ones like a mustard um, top and they've got llamas on them just so cute so I put his toys in there when we do toy rotation because it's just really handy um, and they're out of sight so um, he can't really reach them obviously and then uh, here on the bottom we've just got his um, table and chair from Ikea so I'm not sure if I'm going to keep this here I might move it but he really likes playing with those <laughs> things on there um, so I'm, I'll just keep this here for now and I'll see. But yeah, this is what his room currently looks like. Yes, I hope you guys have enjoyed seeing this little bedroom makeover for my son's bedroom. Do give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe for more videos like this because you may or may not know but I'm pretty obsessed with IKEA. 
almost everything we have in our home as far as furniture goes is from Ikea. So yeah, I do hope you have enjoyed this and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys! We can spend all day